Hey guys, welcome back to Set Streets and Eats. I'm Chris Bauer. I am in Rockford, Illinois today for a special reason. I'm gonna have lunch at Chuck E. Cheese. This is the site of the last rocker stage still in existence in the Chuck E. Cheese empire. And I'm gonna go check it out and I hope you join me. Let's travel. Very buttery. That was fabulous. So behind me is the rocker stage here at the Rockford, Illinois Chuck E. Cheese. The Rockford stages were put into both Showbiz and Chuck E. Cheese's back in, starting in 1987. First one was in Arlington, Texas. Um, part of the setup was the porch came out a little bit and there was a little flower bed there filled with singing flowers. They took the last of those flowers out in 2002 when the programming quit being made for them. What's significant about these, or this stage, was that this was the first time that Chuck E. Cheese had to build full body animatronics. Up till then, the first 10 years of their history, all the animatronics were at the Pizza Time Theater were all half bodies. So they would be in either the picture window or just set up on the stage. Um, so this is the first time we actually get to see legs on Helen, Chucky, and Jasper. And then uh, they only put these in for about three years, 1987 to 1990. Uh, by then they had the road stage that was becoming more and more common in Chuck E. Cheese's. So they started putting those in and discontinued this one. Um, this is also the last one. Um, it's really sad. I was talking to the manager. As of next month, June 20th, they start construction on the Chuck E. Cheese 2.0 dance stage. This will all be torn out. Right now, they're trying to decide. Uh, they're waiting to hear from corporate. There's a rumor on the web that corporate is salvaging a few of these stages instead of just having them all destroyed like they previously said. Um, there's a possibility that this one will get saved because it's the last one. Um, it's very unique. This is clearly not a stage you normally see at a Chuck E. Cheese. So it's a really unique thing to hopefully preserve. Um, we'll see. Uh, I really hope they don't end up destroying it because as it stands right now, they have to tear these out, destroy the animatronics, paint on them, and video it while they're throwing them in the dumpster. It's really heartbreaking. But for at least the next month, you can still see the rocker stage here in Rockford in all its glory, which is really neat to see. So I don't know of any significance, but I do notice that pictures of the rocker stages that were in existence in this now, uh, they all have different addresses. Um, if anybody knows why or if the numbers were significant or anything, comment below. I'd love to know uh, if they were just a nod put in by designers or whatever. Um, I think it'd be really interesting. That might already be out there, but I haven't uh, found anything on it.
now, I'm going to wait for a show, and then I'm going to go play some skee ball. funny that uh, Chuck E. Cheese's started off as a brainchild of Nolan Bushnell to make an arcade that a whole family would want to come to and now with all this reorganizing they're taking out all the distractions from the arcade so really it's finally being realized almost 50 years later um, Nolan Bushnell's dream is really just going to be an arcade that serves pizza um, I don't know if that's was always, I mean, that's what he wanted. Uh, I guess he just didn't think that an arcade was enough of a draw back when he started it in 77, but clearly uh, that is what they are doubling down on because um, it is pizza booths and games and the Chuck E. Cheese now. And once the stage is gone, that's that. Oh, 10. There we go. Come on. All right, going for the ten. Did not happen. Come on. Rigged. I am the worst. ball and a basketball when machines don't even give the obligatory three tickets at the end just nothing just like please step away from me you're not doing well
Sloshers. That was an enjoyable lunch. Um, probably because it's set to be taken out, they probably stopped a lot of the maintenance. You could definitely tell most of Jesper's movements were gone. Pretty much Pasquale didn't really move at all. Uh, he just kind of blinked and stuff. But, uh, um, you know, they're near the end of their run. And they've been going for 30 years, so no one can blame them for quitting now. But... It was still good to see them before they get taken out next month. <clears throat> anyway, you guys are in the Rockford area. You should come by and see them before June 20th. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at the next one. Bye now.